Congestive heart failure is a very frightening, life-threatening disease affecting hundreds of thousands of Americans every year. Basically, the heart doesn't pump blood as well as it should, causing fluid to back up into the lungs. Most people think it'll never happen to them. In tonight's Heart of the Gulf segment, meet a mobile mother of three who got the shock of her life. At age 48, Leslie Gafford had a mystery on her hands, one doctors couldn't solve. I was tired, I was run down, I was having flu-like symptoms, sometimes nausea, sometimes just um, I was wheezing. After not getting answers from doctors for three weeks, Gafford came here to USA Medical Center's emergency room. Scans revealed blood clots in both lungs. She had congestive heart failure. And I absolutely told them they're crazy. I said, I'm only 48 years old. I can't have congestive heart failure. That's not, it doesn't make any sense. Nearly 50% of people with CHF will die within five years of their diagnosis. Gafford, now 53, has reached that milestone. She gives credit to the American Heart Association. Keeping up with the correct medicines, the most current medicines, um, doing the best that they can to research patient outcomes. Um, and to give people like me longer than a five-year life expectancy. Because I did see that number when I Googled CHF. <laughs> and I thought, no, that's, that's not enough time. Gafford underwent surgery for her heart, and she takes medication. Doctors tell her she may have many more years with her family. I go places with the kids. We go out on the boat. We swim. We go to the Smoky Mountains and hike. Um, I'm as normal as I can be because I take the medicine that I'm supposed to take. Gafford is supervisor of clinical operations at the University of South Alabama Student Health Center. She and her co-workers have formed a team to participate in this Saturday's American Heart Association Heart Walk there on campus. WKRG News 5 has also teamed up with the American Heart Association for our annual Ace of Hearts Poker Run that is coming up on October 27th. For more information on both of these events, go to our website, WKRG.com.